Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing something completely different and that is what I eat in a day. And last night, so, I, last night I got a reduced food haul from Tesco. So I'm gonna be using some of the reduced food for breakfast. So the reduced food will be playing a big part in what I'm eating today. Uh, feeling so tired. I've only had like five. And I'm so tired and I'm diabetic, so diabetics hunger is kind of something else. You're okay. really hungry. So this morning, I'm planning Warburton's farmhouse. Uh, so so the plan is Warburton's farmhouse bread, because I got that reduced yesterday, one of my Heinz tomato soup, and some chicken roll, and some chicken roll that I got reduced, thrown in the sandwich and then followed by some fruit and I haven't decided what's for dinner and I haven't decided what I'm gonna have for dinner yet but I'm definitely gonna have a nice coffee with my breakfast because I need it so I'm thinking Costa Caramel so Heinz tomato soup Warburton's which was reduced see Warburton's that is reduced if I can find it there you go Chicken roll, reduced again. My favourite butter, it's Tesco's own brand, Stockwell. It's actually really nice. Well worth the money. I always get it. Highly recommend. It wasn't it reduced, was but it's already at a low, de low decent price anyway, so it doesn't really need really reduced. Um, so oh. I'm going to throw on my soup and get my sandwich ready. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to see that. Uh, and then, of course, after my chicken sandwich and tomato soup, I'm going to have some pineapple. It was reduced as well, so gotta love Tesco coming through with the goods because with the cost of living crisis and everything, the reduced food that they would throw out, the prices you can get is really good. So I'm going to go off and make breakfast and I will come back when the finished product is ready. For me, I apologise for how this video comes out. I kind of combine all those small clips together, but I'm trying. So, so I just realised as I was going to make my chicken sandwich with the chicken roll with the reduced, I got reduced coleslaw last night. So, so I'm thinking chicken roll and coleslaw sandwich in the Warburtons. Not a bad reduced breakfast day. Eh? And the soup is practically almost ready, so I shall be back. So breakfast is almost ready and this is the Costa I'm having, caramel latte. But I have it in my glass, I'm just going to add some ice. And ice added to my iced coffee and a nice wee stir stir. And breakfast, chicken and coleslaw, chicken and coleslaw sandwich and my soup with the bread and butter. Soup's just on and there. Yes, I do love using my breakfast bowls. I've got crunchy nut, cornflakes. Yeah. Plus it's breakfast, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna put out my soup in my breakfast bowl since it is my breakfast. Despite it being like a cereal bowl. And with iced coffee is mainly for having with my chicken and coleslaw sandwich, but with my soup, I'll have my favorite water, Highland Spring. Love it. Tien is roasting by the way. We're sitting at 22 degrees and since I'm diabetic I need to take my blood sugar and give myself my and insulin needs to be taken and my blood sugar. So so this bad boy. Take my blood sugar, find out what it is and then that will decide my insulin and, and then, then breakfast finally. And then I'm going to throw on Dawson's Creek because I've been watching that on ITVX. But I've only like four episodes left of season six. And then I'm going to move on to The Vampire Diaries. I've started like six episodes on season one. Absolutely loved The Vampire Diaries. Also, Vampire Diaries and Dawson's Creek are made by the same director, Kevin Williamson. So I pretty like Kevin Williamson's work. I just So that's breakfast made. And... Tomato soup, bread and butter, chicken and coleslaw sandwich. So 
I'm gonna go off and eat it and next time you see me I will be having my lunch. Bye for now. So I had to go to Allness for the post authentic stuff and the Allness Newsagent's machine was broke. So then I had to go to Milton to post off the stuff and now I'm back in Tien. So lunch today is going to be Silver Tide fish and chips, chips and gravy. But at the moment, I'm just getting the bus up home and then I will have it. And I will get back to you once I'm at home with my chips and gravy. And of course, get my insulin into me. So that's it for now. And I'm not currently on Tain High Street. In the Highlands, where I live, really sunny, but I'm in the shade. Because I am melting. So I'm home. Got my chippy. So gonna have lunch. Like not long. I got from Silvertide Fish and Chips in Tain. I got chips and gravy. Because I've been craving chips and gravy for some. For um, some unknown reason. I have been craving chips and gravy. And the chips and gravy cost £3.20. This is a small portion, so let me show you what I've got. Standard fork and tissue, a wooden fork, and of course the chips and gravy. I asked for plenty of salt and vinegar and the smell of salt and vinegar, ah, oh, so good. So this is it. The chips and gravy. In fact, I'll turn the camera around so you can see. So it. this is lunch. Chips and gravy from Silver Tide Fish and Chips in Tain. And, and I don't need to review it because I know it tastes amazing. But it tastes more like a Chinese gravy sauce than your standard chippy gravy sauce. So the plan is, I'm going to have my chips and gravy and then I'm going to throw this on because why not? I'll have them two together and the next time you see me I will show you the all ready to be eaten because I am starving and I need to eat my insulin. So that's it. As you can see, my gravy chips and my smoked sausage. So that's my Matheson's smoked sausage. And my chips and gravy from Silver Tide, fish and chips, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna have that with my Highland Spring because it's really hot up here, and I'm so thirsty. And so hungry. it's dinner time, and I've decided to go for a pasta and sauce, mac and cheese, and some. Cheese. And I'm a bit shaky because my blood sugar is starting to drop. So I'll need to get the pasta and sauce and, and the cheese on fast. So I'm gonna go and make that. And because it's so hot still, I'm gonna be drinking my Highland Spring. So the next time you'll see me is when my dinner is ready of the pasta and sauce and the cheese. I tend to cook it with cooking the pasta. I tend to cook my pasta and sauce on the hob first. Then I throw it in the oven, but I put the cheese on top and then I give it about 10 minutes max and that's it usually ready and yeah so that's basically what I'm off to do so I'll show you the so video. that's the pasta and sauce ready as you can see all nice so then I throw this into this add cheese put in the oven and that'll be it ready so that's it almost ready to go in the oven then add the cheese so that's dinner ready to go in the oven all done plenty of cheese next time you'll see me is when it's ready so that's my dinner ready the mac and cheese pasta and sauce just out of the oven and it's bubbling and smelling good so that's the pasta and sauce mac and cheese 
with my grated cheese on top and what I'm going to be having for dinner. So I will see you at dessert. So I've had my dinner and this is going to be my dessert. Summer fruit platter, melon, pineapples, mango and grapes. And that's me. So I'm going to go off and have my fruit platter. But if you enjoyed this, what I eat in a day and would like to see more of this, please comment below. And if you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe and a big thank you to my current subscribers for getting me where I am now. 